Good morning. You may take your seats. Oh. The 48th commencement exercise of Roger Williams University is now in order. You can, you can cheer. Welcome to one and all on this important occasion, to our graduates, their families and friends, to our dedicated faculty and staff, members of the Board of Trustees, President Farish, our distinguished honorary degree recipients, Rhode Island Congressman David Cicilline, and all the other special guests. Welcome. We gather here today to celebrate you, the class of 2018. That's right. That's right. To recognize the milestone you have reached today and honor your achievements as we look toward your future accomplishments. Today's commencement will begin with the singing of our national anthem by a talented member of the class of 2018, Amanda Espinoza. Amanda's from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Uh, she is a business management major with a minor in music. Her time at Roger Williams has given her an opportunity to explore her passion of music uh, through classes, performing with the chorus, serving as the vice president of the chorus, uh, serving as the vice uh, uh, participating as a member of the a cappella group Hawkward. Amanda is honored to be ending her journey today by singing the national anthem and to offer a small gift to her parents that who have sacrificed so much. Please rise now if you're able and remove your hats for the national anthem. And then you will be seated for the invocation, which will be delivered by the multi-faith chaplain, Reverend Nancy Sukoff. Good morning. If you would take your seats. Yay. I know. If you would take your seats, and if we could have a moment of silence in the Quaker tradition. Oh, spirit which inspires us to attain great knowledge, wisdom, and compassion, we gather to celebrate the Roger Williams University class of 2018. Yeah, go ahead. Me clap. <laughs> As these seniors come one last time to this beautiful shoreline, we give thanks for stretching their imaginations and energies to reach the intellectual goals 
embodied in the degrees they are about to receive, for pursuing combinations of majors, minors, and concentrations, equipping them for the complex world around them, for taking their studies beyond our campus by serving the community around them through volunteerism, study abroad se semesters, service learning trips, and internships. And most important, Great Spirit, for reaching beyond who they are to listen to other life experiences which differ from their own. These lessons in diversity, more than any other, are necessary and will change our world. Remind each, of these, this, each member of this extraordinary class that they prove they have the inner strength and resiliency to fulfill their goals. Now embolden them to keep this going and to never give up on themselves. That they reach this day not on their own, but with a village of support from family, friends, professors, coaches, and advisors. And that any education ultimately is about the people met along the way and the growth that occurs because of these encounters and relationships. Help them to remember always the one whose name graces our university, the Reverend Roger Williams, a man of the 17th century, who reached beyond the intellectual boundaries and practices of his world to be the champion of religious freedom and tolerance, who had an abiding confidence in education and the law, who strove for coexistence with indigenous peoples through embracing their language and culture, and who understood that citizenship was not determined by religious beliefs, but rather by participation. <laughs> now, gracious spirit, bless and keep this university, its board, its faculty, staff, students, and alumni, and all the days ahead, and bless the amazing class of 2018, granting them courage always to dream great dreams this day, tomorrow, and evermore. Amen. Thank you, Amanda and Reverend Nancy. On behalf of everyone, let me at this time also recognize the Rhode Island Highlanders Pipe Band. Join me now in thanking them for the round of applause. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the members of the platform party. In addition to Roger Williams University President Do Donald J. Farish, Grand Marshal Robert Blackburn, and our distinguished honorary degree recipients, Frank R. Ranieri and Frank E. Ranieri, Jr. Also, uh, is, a, is the senior leadership of Roger Williams University. This is represented by the Board of Trustees, our academic deans, and the university vice presidents. We recognize them for their dedicated and responsible stewardship of the institution as they continue to shape RWU as a transformational leader in higher education. Now for the presentation of the Excellence in Teaching Award. Each year, the Faculty Senate recognizes one faculty member whose performance in and out of the classroom epitomizes what it means to be a faculty member at RWU. I'd like to ask Dr. David Moskowitz, Faculty Senate Vice President, to join me in the presentation of this year's award. While Dave's will make his way to the stage, let me tell you a little bit about the recipient. The recipient of the 2018 Excellence in Teaching Award embodies all that we seek and admire in an extraordinary teacher. This year's award winner writes, quote, teaching poetry has challenges. Students often land unhappily in the required for the major class, convinced poetry is based on hidden, inaccessible meanings. My work is to show students uh, that poetry is art. It's for everyone, by definition accessible, not exclusive. And that yes, as the poet Thomas Lux says, no poem ever bought a hamburger. Poetry and art, unlike hamburgers, are essential to human expression and can even manifest change. Her students agree. Chelsea Corner, class of 2009, writes, to say that this professor impacted my life is an understatement. She put me on the path to my life. I learned more from her about self-knowledge and intuition and risk than I can ever say. Her wisdom will remain with me forever. And Maggie uh, Dominsbeck, class of 2017, writes, she knew each student better than we knew ourselves. She inspired each and every one of us. It is with great pleasure 
admiration and appreciation that we honor Professor Rene Soto, Associate Professor of Creative Writing with the 11th Annual RWU Teaching Excellence Award. Professor Soto. Professor Soto will also serve as today's faculty speaker, and I'm going to take care of her plaque. Thank you. Good morning, class of 2018. Just as you were thinking, gosh, I wish I could have one more classroom experience with a professor at Roger Williams University, here we are. To those of you I never had the opportunity to meet in a traditional classroom, hello. To those of you with whom I have shared a classroom, or several, hello again. And to those of you graduating with a BFA in creative writing, hello, hello. So here, some final direction. One last door being opened enough for you to catch a glimpse of something new and make a decision about what to do next. When you find yourself tomorrow, as in Sunday, May 20th, 2018, no longer a college student, consider planting yourself firmly in your new life with some small act affirming your study here. If you are a student of dance or visual art or creative writing or theater or music or performing arts, do something that connects you to that. Dance down a hallway, sing out a window, practice your scales, add something to your journal, your sketchbook. We need you to make your work. If you are a student of the social and natural sciences, a mathematician, an engineer, if you are from the business school or the school of justice studies or architecture, or about to go be a teacher, Look at the sky, consider what a bridge actually is, what justice really is. Consider how you can be a bridge. Revisit an equation or a problem that, that gave you trouble, still does give you trouble, but also brings you joy. Each of you, remember you are human and there are capacities, potentials, and responsibilities exclusive to you because of that. Have a conversation with someone you love, and by conversation, you know what I mean. It is a thrill and an honor to speak to you as a professor on this big day for you. In poetry class, we read a lot of poetry, and so today, some poems. I've chosen two poems by contemporary American poets, each is not only short, but also straightforward and resonant of the occasion, even if not overtly about graduation or commencement. I ask you to listen, to listen carefully, to find a moment or two or three in which the words of the poem might be words you would speak to yourself, to find the moment or moments when your professor, whoever that professor might be, speaks these words directly to you. The first poem is Good Bones by Maggie Smith. This poem went viral a year and a half. Good Bones. Life is short, though I keep this from my children. Life is short, and I've shortened mine in a thousand delicious, ill-advised ways, a thousand deliciously ill-advised ways I will keep from my children. The world is at least 50% terrible, and that's a conservative estimate, though I keep this from my children. For every bird, there is a stone thrown at a bird. For every loved child, a child broken, bagged, sunk in a lake, the world is at least half terrible 
and for every kind stranger, there is one who would break you. Though I keep this from my children, I'm trying to sell them the world. Any decent realtor walking you through a real shithole chirps on about good bones. This place could be beautiful, right? You could make this place beautiful. The next poem is Wild Geese by Mary Oliver. <laughs> Wild Geese. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to love the soft animal of your body and let that love what it loves. Tell me about despair and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes over the prairies, the deep trees, the mountains, the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Soto. It's with great pleasure that I introduce the 10th president of Roger Williams University, Dr. John Donald J. Farish. Dr. Farish. Congratulations, guys. This is pretty terrific, huh? <laughs> Trustees of Roger Williams University, members of the faculty, staff, and administration, alumni, special guests, families and friends of the graduates, and especially the graduates themselves, welcome to commencement 2018. Today is a celebration of the commitment and plain hard work of our graduates. Four years for most of them, but even longer for some of our part-time students. The tangible recognition of your efforts comes in the form of a diploma. But I know that you know the real value of your education at Roger is not the diploma itself, but the ways in which you have been transformed by the education, the skills and habits of mind you've acquired, your value system, your view of the world, and of course, the many friends you have made along the way. I'm sure you feel a, a genuine and well-deserved sense of accomplishment and that you are ready to make your mark in the world, whether the world is ready for you or not. And to the parents and families of our graduates, I promised you at convocation almost four years ago that we would return your children to you as mature adults, and here they are. I hope you like what you see. We like what we see. Four years ago, when unemployment was still high, parents and freshmen alike were understandably concerned about finding the college or university that was most likely to provide the student with the skills necessary to secure a well-paying job, if only to avoid the awkwardness that accompanies the sympathetic glances from your neighbors who would be taking pity on you if your college graduate son or daughter we're back living in your basement, unemployed without prospects, and heading toward retirement without ever having actually worked. <laughs> well, we told you at that time, our goal was to ensure, even in a world that continues to change, that your sons and daughters would receive both the formal and applied versions of education that would balance a deep understanding of theory with the experience that comes from having applied that theory and actual work situations while they were still in college. We spoke about internships, research with faculty, and our own unique community partnership center that collectively would give your children an educational depth and breadth they would be hard pressed to find anywhere else. Overwhelmingly, that is the world your sons and daughters have experienced here at Roger. 
and the job market is far better than it was four years ago. Far from worrying about whether your magna cum laude son or daughter has peaked at the age of 22, and now the best he or she can hope to be is a coffee shop barista working part-time, you should be planning to retire even sooner, confident that your Roger Williams graduate will almost immediately be able to support you in the style to which Yeah. support you in the style to which you hope to become accustomed <laughs> due to the fabulous job he or she has obtained all because of an RW education. Parents, you cannot see from your vantage point the faces of the graduates as I utter these words. <laughs> Let me therefore describe their expressions. Shocked doesn't quite capture the magnitude of their incredulity. Say what? comes a whole lot, lot closer. So let me assure you graduates that the idea of your immediately becoming the primary economic pillar supporting your entire family is, based on my poll of your parents, not widespread. <laughs> I'd estimate that only about 10% of your parents are thinking that way, so nine out of 10 of you can relax. As to the remainder, well, you'll just be getting a head start on fulfilling parental expectations. <laughs> to be serious for a moment, something else happened during your time here beyond the acquisition of job-relevant skills. We emphasized right from the beginning the importance of developing multiple strengths, and it turns out the majority of you were listening. Overwhelmingly, this class is graduating not just with a major, but with one or more minors, or a double or even triple major, giving them what is often a unique skill set, set that will serve them well on, as the job market continues to change and evolve. And in addition, all of our students are well versed in the skills and attributes that come from a deep exposure to the liberal arts, written and oral communication, analysis and synthesis of information from disparate sources, the ability to tolerate ambiguity, and to reason through complex situations and circumstances they may be seeing for the first time. Critical thinking and reasoning. These are the skills that will never go out of date. And when you have those, plus experience in what today's market is demanding, you will find yourself having been well served by Roger, not just this month, but a decade from now. But I very much doubt that our relationship with you is done. Until fairly recently, a four-year university education gave you the foundation on which you could build a career that would last you a working lifetime. That is increased in being no longer the case. People find it necessary to augment their skill set as they move through life and as they confront both opportunities and threats. Our sense of purpose here at Roger is changing in response to this need for periodic educational booster shots throughout your, welcome, your working lifetime. In the coming time, years, you will see more and more courses or programs being offered at RW, whether in person, online, or blended. And I don't mean this as a commercial, but I hope as you see the need for such education in your own lives, that you will look first to Roger to see if we can meet your needs. But all of that's for the future. For the present time, let me assure you that you have earned the right to be proud of your accomplishments and to celebrate with your families. We have offered you a smorgasbord of educational opportunities, and to your credit, most of you have taken full advantage. You leave us as the most accomplished class in our history. You will continue to augment, yes, yeah. You will continue to augment the growing reputation of this fine institution. We are proud to have you represent the best that we can do. Go Hawks! I would now like to introduce our senior class speaker, Victoria Tori and Tony Davis. Tori and Tony hails from Tiverton, Rhode Island, just down the street, with an individualized major in science communications. Tori is known by her faculty as a gifted writer with a great mind for science. 
Tori served RWU through co-curricular involvement in many areas, such as helping first-year students navigate campus as an orientation advisor, writing for the Hawks Herald, chairing the Arts and Culture Campus Entertainment Network Committee, writing and copy editing for the Crossings Yearbook, participating as a member of the Sexuality Advocacy for Everyone, or SAFE, as well as uh, alternative entertainment. And Tori was on the winning team of the 2017 Mr. RWU fundraiser, and also at the Student Achievement Award ceremony, she was the recipient of the Henderson Spirit Award. She's quite an accomplished young woman. And it doesn't stop there. This summer, Tori will be in Washington, D.C., writing for the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences, uh, Science magazine. She also hopes to further studies in science uh, in a communications graduate program going forward. Please join me in welcoming Tori and Tony. Hello, friends, family, faculty, and fellow members of the class of 2018. <laughs> it is an honor to sit before you all today, and I would first like to let you all know how proud I am of each and every one of you. I can distinctly remember orientation, our stomach, stomachs fluttering with an unusual mixture of nausea and excitement. We also carried a bright glimmer of hope for our future in our eyes. I see that same look in many of the faces before me today, that hope now laced with determination, but that feeling of nervous energy has come for us again, and this time we don't have peppy orientation advisors to help us through the transition. Before I wax poetic, I would like to give my partner in crime, Tony, a chance to say a few words. Tony, speak. Speak. Yes, good boy. Tony would like to say that it has been an absolute honor to nap through classes alongside you all. <laughs> he would also like to thank Debbie, Donna, and Lisa in student life for making life on the job such a treat, pun intended. <laughs> As for myself, it's a little more difficult to sum up what these past four years have meant to me, but I'd like to try. Coming into Roger Williams, I was a woman on a mission, in high school, I was told that I shouldn't set my sights so high and that it was foolish for someone in a wheelchair to pursue a higher education. What could I honestly hope to achieve? So when I arrived, I was so ready for you all to see my chair and not stop to take a second look to judge me for a part of my person rather than what I have to offer as an individual. Thankfully, I knew this wasn't the case from day one. I guess that's one of the perks of coming to Roger. RWU has made it a special goal to make diverse students feel welcome. I know I can't speak for everyone because I have a special sort of privilege, but with my skin being the color of Neapolitan ice cream minus the best flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, even though my chair may appear to be a limitation, my whiteness allows me a sort of upper hand in this world. However, from where I'm sitting, RWU has done what so many other institutions lack the initiative to do, and that is make its campus a place where someone like me with a disability can feel at home. You've ruined my expectations for the real world, if I'm honest. <laughs> what makes this place special is so much more than the fact that they extend railings for those of us who might roll into ponds and build accessibility ramps so we can roll into class. No, what's truly special about RWU is the people, the community, all of you. Freshman year, <laughs> I didn't have an electric wheelchair, so I rolled around campus in a manual chair named Meredith. 
which is a hard thing to do when you have a genetic disorder that causes your joints to dislocate. My shoulders were not appreciative of the extra work. Arriving on campus, I was not used to people going out of their way to give me a hand. However, I have built many a friendship from the help I received that first year and the three following. For instance, a curly-haired gentleman named Skyler saw me struggling one day to get to class, and from that day on, he would go out of his way to offer me a push, accompanied by the necessary sound effects for our speed and agility as we cut through busy sidewalks. <laughs> Skyler always managed to make me feel less like a chair and more like a ridiculous person who just so happens to be stuck in one. Such kindness, I found, was not limited to you, my fellow students. It's also present in our professors and professional staff. When my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome got in the way of my dreams, it was purely through the compassion and dedication of my advisor, Professor Levitt, and his friend in the communications department, Professor Scully, that got me through. Together, they spent hours helping me build an individualized major that combined my interests one where I could be involved in the sciences that I loved, coupled with my passion for the written word. Through their help and that of many other professors that I've, come to, that I've grown to love along the way, I was able to double dip into innovative curriculum of both departments and create an individualized major of science communications that is both rigorous and engaging. Only at RWU do professors go this extra mile, and I thank you for making sure that my chair never sat in the way of my academic and professional dreams. There are loads of other examples of how you lovely people sitting before me have helped me forget that I'm any different, and I thank you all for that tremendous gift. And this gift is not mine alone. I've witnessed kindness and compassion and integrity all across campus spilling out into the surrounding community. Where else in the world can you leave your wallet, laptop, and cell phone on a table in a crowded dining commons and know no one will touch it? <laughs> when you think back over these past four years, it's astounding how much a community can accomplish when it works together. Together, we've cleaned shorelines, cut back on food waste, and fundraised for many a noble cause. From community connections and late nights breakfasts to sporting events and spring concerts, we've spent some of our best and most stressful times together, foraging these bonds of friendship that will last the rest of our lives, like the one that I created with that curly-haired gentleman, Skylar, who remains my best friend to this day. Together, we as a class have grown from timid freshmen into seniors ready to embark on the world. But before we set off into the world, let me leave with you with these last pearls of wisdom. With every shift in our country's political and cultural landscape, we have come to see that the powers that be view some of our citizens as less than others. I challenge you to stand true to the values that President Farish reminds us of during these uncertain times, that RWU is a family, and that within this family, on this campus, you will always find support and willing listeners. Going forward, continue on your quest for knowledge after you cross this stage, be it in a graduate program, in the workplace, or just in your daily life. Be a catalyst for change and fight for what you believe in. Stay steadfast and stand up for those in need. And lastly, I ask you all to enter each day with the mindset that you might be the reason someone smiles today. I hope, I, I hope during our time together I was one for you, for surely so many of you were one for me. Thank you, my Roger Williams family, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2018. Only one student delivers the commencement address. There's a quality that unites all Roger Williams students. Each of us leaves Roger with a sense of civic responsibility, a sense of commitment to our communities and to our neighbors. Roger Williams graduates can deliver on this commitment because as students, we were given the opportunity to apply what we've learned in the classroom to help solve problems that matter deeply to the communities we serve. 
in our region and around the world. We, can, we call these immersive community-engaged learning experiences civil, civic scholarship. These experiences have changed the way we feel about ourselves and the way we view the world. Collectively, we have devoted many thousands of hours to hundreds of community partners. We have helped to recover food in our neighbors living in, shelter, living in shelters. We've built systems of, for portable water in communities without access to clean water in Latin America. We've taught math and language in local schools that lack the resources to deliver enrichment programs. We've planted trees in, communi in our communities. We've developed websites for small businesses and nonprofits. And we've worked to rejuvenate historic buildings and brighten main streets throughout Rhode Island. RWU civic scholars are many hands making pro a profound impact. I'd like to invite Provost Workman to commission this class of civic scholars. Thank you, Tori and, and Tony. Uh, today, we are honored to recognize the graduates of the class of 2018 as civic scholars, students who believe in the positive impact of community-engaged work because they themselves have been part of project teams of important research that solved real-world issues, strengthening communities as a result. I'd like to ask the entire graduating class of 2018 to rise if you are able. Rise. From the moment that you, the class of 2018, arrived on our campus, you were welcomed into an educational community that is committed to service. Opportunities for civic scholarship are available across academic disciplines and span RWU's vast array of community services initiatives. Students, please raise your hand if this describes your service to the community. You participated in a project through the Community Partnership Center. Raise your hand. You participated in a service project at home or abroad through one of the following, the Foundation for International Medical Relief for Children, Engineers Without Borders, Habitat for Humanity, InterVarsity Christian Fellowship, RWU Food Recovery Network, raise your hand, uh, Children's Miracle Network, Relay for Life. Raise your hand if you're a Hassenfeld Leadership Fellow. You completed a service project in the Honors Program. You participated in the Davidson Corps Geomapping and Tree Planning Project. I did that too. Uh, <laughs> you provided tutoring or mentoring to a local school. Before even attending your first class uh, freshman year, you participated in the Feinstein Community Connections Day. So please raise your hand for that. As civic scholars, you have learned to thrive, adapt, and conquer challenges that, the challenges that await you. Just as Roger Williams himself fearlessly advocated for freedom of conscience, uh, equality, tolerance to help uh, improve his community, RWU prides, prides itself on being an innovative, forward-thinking institution devoted to strengthening society through engaged teaching and learning. We believe that this compassionate spirit flourishes uh, in all civic scholars and that you will carry it with you throughout your lives as you set your hands, your hearts, and your minds towards making a difference in the world. Congratulations, Class of 2018 Civic Scholars. You may be seated. Now, students, we're getting there. Students can participate in this work and all of the other educational activities only because of the dedication of faculty members. So I'd like our faculty members to rise now, if you're able, and to accept the appreciation of our students and, and their parents here. Thank you very much. Thank you. May seat. I would now like to ask Vice President for Student Life, Dr. John King, to the lectern for the presentation of the President's Core, values, uh, uh, core Value Medallion Honorees. Dr. King. Thank you, Provost Workman. The President's Core Values Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors who best reflect university core values 
through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education, to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. It is an honor to announce the Core Values Medallion recipients for the class of 2018. President Farris will present each student their medallion as they are recognized on stage. From the School of Architecture, Art, and Historic Preservation, Taylor Marie Hughes. From the School of Continuing Studies, Jennifer Zhu Lin. From the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management, Elizabeth Colby Anthes. From the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences, Ava Antonia Mastrostafano. Also from the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences, Jacqueline Christine Applin. From the Feinstein School of Humanities, Arts, and Education, Jacqueline N. Vogel. Also from the Feinstein School of Humanities, Arts, and Education, Nicola Marie Alexander. From the Mario J. Gabelli School of Business, Michaela Sara DeRuzzo. From the School of Justice Studies, Rebecca Elizabeth Millard. And now for our at-large recipients as selected by President Farish, Ashley E. Augustin. Jacob M. Brostwin. Andrew F. Del Santo. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Hackey. <laughs> Michael Robert McBrien. <laughs> and Thomas J. Torren. These students have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformational academic and co-curricular achievement throughout their four years. Congratulations to our recipients, their families, friends, and faculty. I would now ask President Farish to return to the lectern for the presentation of the honorary degrees. President Farish. <laughs> See me later, okay? <laughs> Each year, Roger Williams University has the privilege of honoring uh, distinguished individuals who have each in their own exceptional way benefited humankind. It is now my distinct pleasure to continue this tradition and to confer Roger Williams University honorary degrees upon two highly regarded recipients. May I ask Trustee Marsha Morris to escort Frank E. Ranieri, Jr. to the left of the lectern to join me for the presentation. Mr. Frank Elias Ranieri, since you first joined Roger Williams as an undergraduate business major and now are serving as a, dis a dedicated university trustee, you have actively participated in the transformation of this institution of higher education 
toward a deeper commitment to community-engaged work with a global reach. You build upon your father's visionary leadership as vice president of business for the Punta Cana Group, driving environmentally responsible management of new business and development initiatives through sustainable practices in the Dominican Republic. You were instrumental in developing a partnership between RWU and the Puna Cana Group Foundation to create the Dominican Republic's first marine ornamental fish hatchery, whose aim is to ensure sustainability in the marine aquarium trade while drawing more tourists to the reef, hopefully spurring economic growth in the area while preserving the natural environment. This project provides our faculty and students the opportunity to apply the technology and knowledge developed through the university's Center for Economic and Environmental De Development, that's SEED, to the social and environmental challenges presented by the rise of tourism and development in the Puna Cana region of the Dominican Republic. By implementing SEED's research methods of culturing aquatic animals for commercial scale, while preserving reef habitats that are vital for global health, you've enabled community-engaged work that will make a meaningful impact around the world. Mr. Ranieri, for your passionate devotion to your alma mater, your stewardship of our mission, and your visionary leadership in the ecotourism industry, we are honored to confer upon you today the degree of Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa, given this 19th of May, 2018. Congratulations, Frank. With great pleasure, I now ask Frank R. Ranieri to join Trustee Morris to the left of the lectern. There we go. Mr. Frank Ranieri, as a leader of sustainable development within the tourism industry, you pioneer one of the core values we are deeply committed to at Roger Williams, ethical business practices that advance environmental sustainability. Since you began developing the Punta Cana Resort in 1971, you have grown the Dominican Republic's eastern shore into a major tourism destination that includes hotels, a full-service marina, golf courses, and the world's first private international airport. Your resort is home to Julio Iglesias and Oscar de la Renta, who joined you as co-investors, and its impressive stature has earned you a Lifetime Achievement Award from the tourism industry. While most business owners might focus only on the bottom line, you played a major role in building the country's economy while also dedicating your career to creating a visionary shift toward ecotourism. With the creation of the Puna Cana Group Foundation, you launched a nonprofit that aims to protect and preserve the country's natural resources while contributing to sustainable tourism. The foundation endowed a 1,500-acre ecological park in the Puna Cana region, and it houses a research and education facility. You also founded the Caribbean Alliance for Sustainable Tourism. Mr. Ranieri, for your visionary leadership in the ecotourism industry and for all you have done to further environmental sustainability as a vital and ethical business practice, we are honored today to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Humanities honoris causa, given this 19th of May, 2018. I am delighted that Frank R. Ranieri also serves graciously today as our keynote speaker. He will now address the class of 2018. Donald. Wow. Uh, President Farish. Uh, members of the Board of Directors, faculty, class of 2018. Good morning to everyone. When I first came to Roger Williams University in 1995, probably most of you weren't even born. Uh, but that year, 
we selected this university for my son, Frank Elias, to study. And really, I never imagined that one day I was going to be standing over here and having the honor to be chosen to deliver the commencement speech for a graduating class or receiving an honorary course. This invitation is particularly uh, special to me, as I know that this honor are in part as a result of my son's hard work and dedication as a member of the university board of directors. So I really deeply appreciate the honor. For most of you, many years of classes are ending, although much more is yet to come. Now is the time to take what you have learned and applied it in the real world. This is the time to start seeing new opportunities around you and find your way into the future. To do this, you need to look far and wide and find your own individual vision. Developing a vision is a skill that improves with constant practice. Like a muscle needs regular exercise to develop. I would like to begin by establishing the differences between the world in which I grew up and the one in, in which you are currently living. I grew up in the middle of the 20th century, witnessed the birth of a new era, and went from an analog telephone, probably of you had even seen an analog uh, telephone, a telegraph, then a fax machine, to the world of instantaneous communication, where messages can reach us in just a few seconds from the farthest place in the world. It was a world where no one questioned the type of food we consume or the quality of the air we breathe. We learned our lessons in the classroom and our world was much simpler and less competitive. You, however, are members of the millennial generation you can communicate with anyone in seconds from the farthest place imaginable. Learn through technology and handle electronic and digital equipment from infancy. And of course, the quality and velocity with which you communicate has grown exponentially. However, I believe there are things that simply don't change, and there are things that you should not change. Things we learn only through experience and the years we have lived. Basic things that contribute to your personal happiness and professional success. And this is what I want to share with you today that has been my experience. Three words. Number one, vision, which is not ambition. Vision is an intangible concept that you will never be able to learn through a book or a computer. It is a perception that for some is innate and that others must develop. Not all will have the same degree of vision, but, but by acknowledging its value and developing it, you will be able to see and take advantage of opportunities that come before you. It allows you to dream to see things that are far away, that might seem out of reach, things you can strive for and fight hard to achieve. It can be both a wonderful way of simply exploring our own imagination, or, can it, or, it, can be, or it can be the very way in which we discover what is we should do with our life. When I began Punta Cana in 1970, a small development that I hope it will become a tourist project located in an isolated part of the Dominican Republic, there was no such thing as a tourist industry in the country. Not that we even talk about it. But I saw something when I looked at our beaches, our climate, and the friendly disposition of the Dominicans, and I saw a magical paradise full of families enjoying the sun and the local culture. That vision led me to think that if other islands had developed tourist industry, why couldn't we? It took 20 years for this vision to become a reality, but time proved 
that I was right. Today, the tourist industry of the Dominican Republic generates 15% of the gross national product. And what if I began as a small development consisting of 10 small touch roof cabins and a simple dirt landing strip, is today a well, a well renowned tourist destination that boasts 41,000 hotel rooms and an international airport with connection to more than 50 countries and currently handles 68% of all the tourists that visit my country. It was precisely this very simple moment of letting my mind travel freely that contributed to the development of not just a business opportunity, but also the introduction of a new industry that has generated numerous development opportunities for the country and our people. The second word is perseverance. It took some 20 years for my vision and my dream to become a reality, even more for my partners to get dividends. But I never stopped trying. I never lost faith. When mining encouraged me to abandon the Punta Cana project and turn my life around, I looked beyond the recommendations and continued to believe in my dreams. I made changes, made adjustments, but with faith, I continue to work toward what I believe in. I look for other options to generate extra income. I couldn't collect a salary for seven years from Punta Cana. So I had a disco, I had a restaurant, I had to go into every type of job to support my family. But I never gave up on my dream, and I trusted my vision. In Spanish, there is a phrase that has always guided us, sin prisa, pero sin pausa. This translates roughly to don't rush, but never quit. Sin prisa, pero sin pausa has become one of the signature phrases that define our company. Something that guides us, guides how we expect everyone in the company to work. We want our people to be thoughtful, hard workers, and problem solvers, and to find a solution without quitting when facing obstacles. Over the last 50 years, our company has many setbacks. Hurricane George, a category five hurricane with winds of over 150 miles per hour, landed in Punta Cana. We were literally hit with the eye of the storm. It wiped out our entire property. It turned it our hotel, airport, and many buildings upside down. When the storm passed, it looked like Puerto Rico just a few months ago. But rather than quit, we knew we had to rebuild, and we did it in a record time because we believed in what we were doing. In life, in work, and in relationship, we, you will face adversity. People will tell you to give up or that your vision is all wrong, but you have to persevere and keep moving forward. And the third key word that I want to share with you is work. Vision and perseverance will not have come together without the element of hard work. Although the term hard work to me doesn't exist because when you love what you do and when you have passion for it, it's not work. Today, over 16,000 people depend directly on us to work. We own the largest airport in the Dominican Republic receiving over 3.5 million passengers, international passengers a year. We have an electrical company, hotel property. We recently hosted PGA tour at our Corrales Golf Course. In order to manage all these activities, we have hired some of the best professionals we can find that specialize in all types of businesses. We have experts in hotel, hospitality, airport, in a, environment, electric company, water production, you name it. We have lawyers, accountants, engineers, architects, and many other fields that help us run the company. But when we start Punta Cana in 1970, it was just me and Ted Keel, my American partner. We didn't have the money to hire ex specialists. So we had work, we taught ourselves to be expert in tourism and airport and all that out of necessity. 
Working out of a windowless office in a gas station in Santo Domingo, I had to learn how to build a tourist destination from scratch. There's no textbook that can teach you how to do that. Only through real hard work and dedication, you can pull off implementing your dreams. These are the golden rules for me that have never changed and that I personally don't think will change with time. Those that dare to dream must learn to pursue their dreams and work nonstop in order to make them a reality. But what has changed is the society that surrounds us and the environment we develop. Today, our world demands social and environmental commitment. This is very different from the world that we used to live in. I will even dare to say that for us, the business sector of the 20th century, this social environmental change has brought about different approaches and important changes in our attitudes. The entrepreneur of the 21st century, a member of the millennial generation, and I am referring to all of you, has a responsibility with your immediate environment. It is no longer about just doing business. It is about doing business and much more. It is about contributing to a better and more just society of being able to provide equal opportunities and better quality of life for all, all over the world. Furthermore, this, is, this also has to do with taking care and protecting the environment. You must take the necessary measure to preserve what God has given us and contribute in your own way to the protection and development of new practices in sustainable development. In basic terms, I have made reference to three concepts, vision, perseverance, and work. These are the tools needed to achieve your dreams. In addition, in addition we have a responsibility to further the social and environmental agenda to protect the world in which we live in. Finally, I don't want to end my remarks without mentioning the word attitude. This word is a basic component and key ingredient for our human development. It never ceased to amaze me as I watch friends and couples who in their daily life have seriously neglected what I believe are the basic rules to achieve a harmonious human relationship, communication and respect. The more we develop technology, the further we step away from our friends, spouses, and families. We pay more attention to Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. But we don't talk. We don't talk. <laughs> we don't talk to the person that is standing by our side. Or in front of us. Our face pass, our face pass at life don't allow us to look around and detect where there is happiness, sadness, or the concern of those that surround us. Much less take the time to speak to one another, offer up advice, or simply listen to what they have to say. And this is what I think we should ask ourselves. Where are we headed? Will we end up being a species that is only capable of typing information to gadgets so that robots can carry out our commands? Or will we become a species that cannot carry out a conversation or share a common moment because we have forgotten how to articulate a word? I refuse to accept this. I believe that we are living beings creatures created by the Almighty, who I call God, whom are full of love and were conceived to learn, develop, share, and love. This is why I see in you the new generation that will be able to turn the ball around and use the technology now available to us to contribute to a society that is more humane, more united, and more just.
It is your decision, but it's also your responsibility. And so, I send all of you on your way into an exciting, limitless future. I encourage you to be imaginative, to dream, to find a vision you believe in, to commit to it, and to work towards it. It is the road not just to a traditional model of success. It is the road to happiness and fulfillment. And there is no greater success than happiness and fulfillment. Thank you very much. We now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises. Oh, you heard about that, okay. The conferring of academic degrees upon the class of 2018. In keeping with Roger Williams University tradition, the student marshals who have been selected by their respective schools have the privilege of receiving their degree first. They are listed in the order of exercises on page three of your program. So could I ask the, uh, the student marshals to stand and be recognized? Student marshals. We congratulate them on this special honor. Graduates receiving master's degrees will then uh, be confirmed, uh, conferred within their respective schools and programs of study, followed by the undergraduates. But I also want to acknowledge those students who have the distinction of graduating with honors, and they're on three levels, cum laude, magna cum laude, summa cum laude. Would all of the students graduating cum laude with a Cumulative grade point average of 3.4, please stand. Cum laude. <laughs> Will all the students graduating magna cum laude, this is a, with a cumulative grade point average of 3.6 or greater, please rise. And finally, will students graduating summa cum laude with a cumulative GPA of 3.8? Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended, and we are proud of all your accomplishments. And now we will begin the conferral of degrees. Will Dean, we're gonna start with the School of Continuing Studies and will Dean Jamie Scurry and Associate Dean Gina Bianco please come forward to present the School of Continuing Studies degree candidates. Will the School of Continuing Studies degree candidates please rise. President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Alicia Francis Lowell, Healthy Communities. Amanda Lopes, Criminal Justice. Jennifer Zhao Lin, Paralegal Studies. Courtney Natalie Anderson, Social and Health Services. Catherine Elizabeth Marlowe, Criminal Justice. Samantha Haggerty, Psychology. Sean Christopher Morgan, Public Administration. Jennifer Lopes, Skiotis, Social and Health Services. Patricia Jean Murray Colangelo, Colangelo Paralegal Studies. Christopher Gunthrey Tower, Social Science. 
Alex John Pratt, Emergency Medical Services. David Yengert, Technology Leadership and Management. Richard Ramirez, Criminal Justice. Pierre Ozzi, Catherine Pierozzi, Healthcare Administration. Sandy Restrepo, Criminal Justice. James Joseph Tarbox, Industrial Technology. Evan Allen Roy, Criminal Justice. Melissa Catherine Abadanza, Healthy Communities. Tamitha Lee Shomorik, Paralegal Studies. Yeah. Joseph Almeida, Joshua Almeida, Sarah. Paralegal Studies. Sarah D. Simon, Paralegal Studies. Jennifer Batista, Criminal Justice. Douglas Holloway Wiggins, Jr., Paralegal Studies. Joseph Fowler, Paralegal Studies. Sandra Croft, Criminal Justice. Fanny Franco, Criminal Justice. Kathleen M. Hines, Public Administration. Catherine Elizabeth Kaufman, Criminal Justice. Frank Joseph Udicheney, Public Administration. Janae Lewis, Emergency Medical Services. Okay. Matthew Cowell, Public Administration. Whoa. Denise Lopes, Paralegal Studies. Charday Longshore, Paralegal Studies. Brenda Paul Martin, Emergency Medical Services. Daniela Talleran, Public Administration. Congratulations, graduates. You, you may be seated, and we're going to call up the uh, School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management. Will Dean Potter and Professor Janet Baldwin please come forward to present the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management degree candidates? Will the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management degree candidates please rise? President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Jacob Michael Johnson, Engineering, Civil Specialization. Sarah Kristen Agnold, Engineering, Electrical Specialization. Justice A. Cardez, Construction Management. Mohammed Ali Aldayel, Engineering, Electrical Specialization. Matthew Patrick Kennedy, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Ahmed Abdullah Al Hamad, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Austin Barnett Kimberly, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Osama Mohammed Al Kobresh, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Kyle Christopher Kremzier, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Salah Fahad Al Mahajin, Construction Management. Megan Christine Krisawadi, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Raid Abdullah Al Mahana, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Moyab Ahmed Kutbi, Engineering Electrical Specialization and Computer Specialization. Suhaib Abdul Bari Al Saidi, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Stetson Michael Lacombe, Construction Management. Mashour Abdullah Al Sharif, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Timothy Francis Xavier Logan, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Elizabeth Colby Anthes, Construction Management. Kyle Nicholas Lawrence, Engineering Electrical Specialization and Mechanical Specialization. Aiden James Bradley, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Parker S. Lyman, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Mackenzie Bryan, Civil Engineering Specialization. Matthew K. McKenzie, Construction Management. Justin A. Burnett, Construction Management. Nicholas A. Marini, Construction Management. Ann 
Andrew F. Del Santo, Engineering Spe Civil Specialization in Applied Math. Nicole Josephine Marmo, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Bradford J. Jergenen, Engineering Civil Specialization. Dylan Anthony Mascari, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Tyler W. Rysak, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Ryan Fitzpatrick Mellon, Engineering Civil Specialization. Thomas Joseph Hinchy, Construction Management. Alexander Francis Nagel, Engineering Mechanical and Electrical Specialization. Emily Elizabeth Hand, Construction Management. Taylor J. Nappy, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Owen Andrew Gregg, Engineering Electrical Engineering Specialization. Trung Vo Nguyen, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Louis Joseph Gentile III, Engineering Civil Specialization. Alexander John Nicoletta, Construction Management. Nicholas S. Gaudio, Engineering Civil Specialization. Graham Joseph O'Brien, Construction Management. Kyle David Farabaugh, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Brendan Gerard O'Connell, Construction Management. Han Wen Fan, Construction Management. Michael Noel Ordonez, Civil Specialization Engineering. Leonard Michael Eaton, Construction Management. Michael Peter Orlando, Construction Management. Tegan Leslie Dunn, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Taylor Cassidy Owen, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Jeffrey Robert Demers, Construction Management. Andreas Ignacio Uteris, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Matthew M. De Cesare, Construction Management. Andrew G. Wager, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Ethan Thomas Daniels, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Jack Hayden Wallace, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Paul David Crehan, Construction Management. Taylor Lewis Winnick, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Paulina Cordova, Construction Management. Jacqueline P. Wicca, Engineering Civil Specialization. Talis Coelho, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Matthew John Clark, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Isabel Eden Clark, Construction Management. Dominic Peter Chardulo, Engineering Civil Specialization. Christopher A. Candy, Construction Management. Matthew L. Tyler, Engineering Civil Specialization. Kyle Norman Tronerud, Engineering Civil Specialization. Madison Addy Tribuna, Engineering Electrical Specialization. Anthony M. Trant, Engineering Civil Specialization. Emily F. Tardis, Engineering Civil Specialization. Brett M. Simcoe, and Construction Management. Joshua David Swanson, Construction Management. Owen Douglas Stubbe, Construction Management. Anna Elizabeth Strang, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Jenica R. Shray, Engineering Civil Specialization. Richard George Slate III, Construction Management. Yasmin Christine Musa Shaheen, Engineering Custom Specialization. No. Computer science. Matthew Edward Safarian, Computer Science, Custom Specialization, and Mathematics. Kevin M. Schwartz, Computer Science, Custom Specialization. Zachary Charles Sayed, Computer Science, Custom Specialization. Michael D. Rossi, Engineering, Civil Specialization. Jared Taylor Ramos, Engineering Civil Specialization. 
Nicholas James Rea, Construction Management. Carly Nora Quinn, Engineering Civil Specialization. Justin David Prunier, Engineering Civil Specialization. Casey Rose Provost, Engineering Civil Specialization. Kristen Marie Portsmouth, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Russell Jacob Pearson, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Christopher M. Picard, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Mark J. Parker, Engineering Mechanical Specialization. Next up, the School of Architecture, Art, and Historic Preservation. Will, will Dean White and Associate Dean Greg Laramie please come forward to present the School of Architecture, Art, and Historic Preservation degree candidates. Will the School of Architecture, Art, and Historic Preservation degree candidates please rise and come up near the stage. President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Deanna Michelle Vecchio. <laughs> Stephanie Maria Dacianis. Architecture. Joshua Harrison, Arthur, Master of Architecture. Lydia Jane Costello, Historic Preservation. Laura Ann Brooks, Master of Architecture. Sarah M. Connors, Architecture. Christina Marie Cadigan, Master of Architecture. Liam James Connors, Architecture. Victoria Ann Coviello, Master of Architecture. Megan Elizabeth Collins, Architecture. Alexander M. Dalala, Master of Architecture. Dominic Char uh, Thomas Cirillo, Architecture. <laughs> Lindsay Ann Guastafeste, Master of Architecture. Stephen Anthony Cinquimani, Architecture. William Edward Herrick, Master of Architecture. Elias James Christo, Architecture. Jonathan Alexander Libby, Master of Architecture. Catherine Elizabeth Buckley, Architecture. William Daly Mack, Master of Architecture. Jessica Lynn Brown, Architecture. Antonio S. Malangone, Master of Architecture. Joseph Aren Brower, Architecture. Taylor Michelle Messier, Master of Architecture. Zachary Arthur Blaze, Architecture. Anthony J. Masella, Master of Architecture. Annalise Margaret Bertel, Architecture. Daniel Adam Newhall, Master of Architecture. Hannah Rose Bain, Architecture. Courtney Lynn Proctor, Master of Architecture. Annalise Michelle Bacci, Architecture. Brittany Elizabeth Reed, Master of Architecture. Connor James Arsenault, Architecture. Jeremy Joseph Wise, Master of Architecture. Timothy Gordon Allen, Architecture. Nathan A. Woods, Master of Architecture. Bader Walid al Ghassin, Architecture. Alexandra M. Gustafson, Master of Architecture. Quimin Lee, MS in Historic Preservation. John James Daly, Architecture. Taylor William Sutherland, Master of Architecture. Tyler Jeffrey Davis, Architecture. Elizabeth T. Mosman, Ar Master of Architecture. Diana Lizette Figueroa, Historic Preservation. Michael Peter Lombardi, Jr., Master of Architecture. Naomi Elizabeth Finnegan, Architecture. Luke William Puwalchen, Master of Architecture. Emily Christine Galante, Architecture. Shreesing Liu, Architecture. Emma Marie Gillot, Architecture. Molly Elizabeth Zmick, Architecture. Rachel Snow Hardung, Architecture. 
Sabrina Grace Williams, Architecture. Matthew D. Holmes, Architecture. Haas William Wheeler, Architecture. Taylor Marie Hughes, Architecture. Rhea A. Westcott, Architecture. Claire E. Jeter, Historic Preservation. Hannah Wade, Architecture. Jessica Nicole Karpacek, Architecture. Nicholas D. Valenti, Architecture. Michael James Kelly, Architecture. Lauren Gabrielle Tamburini, Nicholas J. King, Architecture. Trevor William Steinberg, Architecture. Daniel Edward Cleveland, Architecture. Bridgemith V. Singh, Architecture. Tetsu Kobayashi, Architecture. Melania Ruta, Architecture. Thomas Yu Guang Li, Architecture. Ryan W. Rotolo, Architecture. Kelsey May Ling, Architecture. Alfredo Rodriguez III, Architecture. Neon Liu, Architecture. Jenna Lee Roberts, Architecture. Thomas O. Mitchell, Architecture. Enrico Zola Rio, Architecture. Robert B. Monahan, Architecture. Gabrielle Ann Riley, Historic Preservation, Visual Arts Studies. Skylar Clifton Moncada, Architecture. Julia E. Ricklin, Architecture. Valerie Moran, Architecture. Rosalind Flora Ramirez, Historic Preservation. Kelsey Renee Moriarty, Architecture. Allison Marie Pavia, Architecture. Matthew Christian Moskal, Architecture. Khan Angulaku, sorry, <laughs> Architecture. Carrie Helene Noble, Architecture. Afo Albedillo, Architecture. Bernard Joseph O'Brien, Historic Preservation. Christopher John Norcross, Architecture. Just going to say one more thing. Thanks for coming. Next up is the School of Justice Studies. Dean Bronson and Professor Katrina Norbell, would you uh, present the School of Justice Studies candidates? Will the School of Justice Studies degree candidates please rise? President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Janelle Alexandra De Curtis, Forensic Science. Where's your card? Brooke Noel Belson, Legal Studies, Psychology. Sandra Kepard. Ashley Marie Benoit, Criminal Dor Justice. Dorothy M. Jacanica, Master of Public Administration. Lauren Nicole Bezier, Selena Legal Studies Marie Program Psychology. Durden, Master of Public Administration. Sydney Y. Blackwell, Criminal Justice. Valerie Alexis Richardson, Master of Public Administration. Chelsea Bonaca, Criminal Justice Psychology. Anthony Joseph De Cristoforo, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Angelica L. Bovis, Legal Studies 3 Plus 3, Political Science. Nicholas Joseph Dillon, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Jacqueline Ann Grow, Legal Studies, Political Science. Amy Lynn Evans, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Megan Bresnahan, Criminal Justice Psychology. Kelsey Michaela Harrington, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Jordan Lewis Brown, Forensic Science. Victoria Vivian Kosowski, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Andrew Colling, Criminal Justice. 
Lauren Nicole McHugh, Master of Science in Criminal Justice. Bruce John Camara, Criminal Justice. Pamela A. Pereira, Master of Science in Leadership. Zachary Howard Camoli, Criminal Justice. Asterowitz. Alexandra Nicole Asterowitz, Legal Studies. Ryan James Caprio, Cybersecurity and Networking. Nicholas Casper Amadio, Criminal Justice. William Paul Carlson, Criminal Justice. Elizabeth Grace Anderson, Criminal Justice. Savannah M. Casey, Legal Studies, Anthropology and Sociology. Cagney Luisa Aztec, Criminal Justice. Isabella Nicole Sisse, Criminal Justice. Megan Aghor, Criminal Justice. Brendan J. Chason, Criminal Justice. Ashley E. Augustine, for Cybersecurity and Networking. Vic J. Kim Chung, Cybersecurity and Networking. Matthew Lee Baltz, Criminal Justice. Timothy J. Coffey, Criminal Justice Psychology. Brandon J. Baptiste, Criminal Justice. Shelby Lee Cornelius, Legal Studies, Psychology. Holly Florence Barton, Criminal Justice. Sydney Rose Costa, Legal Studies, Psychology. Justin Thomas Barclay, Criminal Justice. Julia Melissa Crotty, Legal Studies, American Studies. Gregory Andrew Battison, Criminal Justice. Lindsay E. D'Alfonso, Criminal Justice. Talia DiVicenzi, Criminal Justice. John F. McCarthy III, Criminal Justice. Carissa Robin Eckwall, Criminal Justice. Kendall Alyssa McDonahue, Criminal Justice Psychology. Aaron Lee Elliott, Criminal Justice. Carter B. Versiki, Criminal Justice. Luke G. MB, Cybersecurity and Networking. Rebecca Elizabeth Millard, Forensic Science, Foreign Languages, Modern Design. Janelle Rose Esposito, Criminal Justice. Benjamin E. Miller, Criminal Justice. Kristen Jan Fabiano, Forensic Science. Jonathan Charles Milne, Criminal Justice. Emily R. Farnham, Forensic Science. Tyler J. Mobris, Criminal Justice. David Vincent Fasano, Jr., Criminal Justice. Jessica Alexandra Napoli, Legal Studies Psychology. Brandon Michael Gagnon, Criminal Justice. Paige Elizabeth Murphy, Criminal Justice. Joseph Thomas Garrier, Criminal Justice. John William Nelson, Criminal Justice. Kylie Amanda Grenier, Criminal Justice. Mariah Leanne Nichols, Criminal Justice. Michael Robert Hatche, Criminal Justice. Wyatt James Nolan, Criminal Justice. Kayla A. Harris, Legal Studies. Jonathan Patrick Norton, Legal Studies, Political Science. Kristen Nicole Hicks, Criminal Justice. Anthony Travis Noto, Legal Studies, Political Science. Kelsey E. Hoffner, Legal Studies. Natalie Teresa O'Donovan, Criminal Justice. Robert Christopher Jeffers, Criminal Justice. Megan Marie O'Rourke, Security Assurance Studies, Mathematics. Sean F. Joyce, Criminal Justice. Diana R. Perez, Criminal Justice Psychology. Samantha Hope Keenan, Criminal Justice. Connor Andrew Perry, Criminal Justice. Chad R. Ketch, Criminal Justice. Noah A. Pushar, Legal Studies, Political Science. Anne Laurie LaRose, Criminal Justice. Ryan Edward Reeski, Criminal Justice. Tyler Matthew Longley, Criminal Justice. Rebecca Megan Rogers, Legal Studies, Anthropology, Sociology. Megan Elizabeth Lucia, Criminal Justice. Ophelia Alexis Romero, Legal Studies, Political Science. Nicholas H. Makaluta, Criminal Justice. Amanda E. Rose, Criminal Justice Psychology. 
Jessica Sarah Markowski, Criminal Justice. Sarah Ann Snyder, Legal Studies, Psychology. Sydney Amico Martin, Criminal Justice. Madison Rose Silverman, Criminal Justice. Tegan Cummings Snyder, Criminal Justice, Psychology. Connor C. Spur, Criminal Justice. Sean Mark Stewart, Criminal Justice. Charles Joseph Swinson, Criminal Justice. Julissa Marie Tavares, Forensic Science. Courtney Lynn Teasdale, Criminal Justice Psychology. Amber Nicole Thurlow, Criminal Justice. Sydney Jacqueline Trahan, Criminal Justice. Gianna Marie Vallelli, Criminal Justice. Sierra Morgan Valerio, Criminal Justice. Timothy Joseph Walsh, Criminal Justice. Shannon Marie Wilcox, Criminal Justice. Nicole Amber Woodward, Legal Studies, Psychology. John Walker Yusa, the fourth, Criminal Justice. Colton Thomas Bailey, Criminal Justice. Nicholas J. Costa, Criminal Justice. Anthony J. Mosesos, Cybersecurity and Networking. Leslie Carolina Nunez, Criminal Justice Psychology. Next we have the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Science. Will Dean Greenstein and Assistant Dean Becky Spritz please come forward to present the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences degree candidates. Will the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences degree candidates please rise if you are able? You already have. President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible to the degrees appropriate for their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Candidates, please come forward. Angela Marissa de Genova, Psychology. Margaret McNaughton Foster, Psychology Educational Studies. Mary Rose Deneen, Public Health. Michaela Lynn Alejandro, Psychology. Leanne V. Drover, Psychology. Jacqueline Marie DeBoer, Psychology. Jacqueline Christine Applin, International Relations. Anya Clara Chen DuSalt, International Relations. Joseph Anthony Basich, Political Science. Matthew P. Elias, Individualized Major in Human Development and Law. Kayla A. Benko, Psychology. Connor G. Fales, Political Science. Samuel Edward Bennett, Psychology. Abigail Kathleen Furland, Psychology. Paul L. Forb, Public Health. Julia Surrett Ferraro, Psychology. Michaela Renee Bordeaux, Marine Biology. Ryan F. Fowler, Psychology. Jacob M. Brustoon, Political Science Economics. Emily Rose Frank, Psychology. Amanda Lee Bryant, Psychology. Yasmin D. Gamas, Political Science. Maria Jose Caceres Suriel, International Relations, Foreign Language. Liana K. Girardi, Psychology. Kayla Marie Carney, Psychology. Randall Lewis Gilbert, Political Science. Amber Lee Cerati, Psychology. Rachel A. Kliniecki, Psychology. Zante Clyde Xavier Chalwell, International Relations. Brandon Tyler Glover, Psychology. Megan Catherine Chauter, International Relations. Gabrielle Elizabeth Granito, Psychology. Jenna Marie Clavette, 
Psychology, Public Health. Kelsey Nicole Grillo, Psychology. Sadie Jane Colligan, Psychology. Phoebe Hope English Hair, Psychology. Kabine Conde, International Relations. Mia Roger Shoutow Hayden, Anthropology, Sociology. Dylan Barry Cooper, International Relations. Sarah Jean Heath, Biology. Shannon Emily Cox, Psychology. Noah Alexander Headley, Environmental Science. Anastasia Coyne, Psychology. Eliza Ray Hillier, Anthropology and Sociology. Wynne Mariah Cushing, Psychology. Brianna Carmela Hoffner, Psychology. Jenna Cutter, Psychology. Brielle Kiana Jackson, Psychology. How you doing? Madison Page DaCosta, Psychology. Emily Rose O'Neill, Psychology. Joseph M. Deering, Environmental Science. Olivia Brianna Osborne, Psychology. Esmeralda Yasmin Jimenez Vega, International Relations. Abdul Rahman A. Osman, Political Science. Catherine H. Johnson, International Relations, Foreign Language. Emily Mary Karat, Psychology. Alicia Caroline Johnson, Psychology. Nicole E. Paulson, International Relations. Abigail P. Killeen, Psychology. Janine Nicole Petraka, Psychology. Tanisha Karida King, Psychology. Julia H. Powers, Psychology. Paulina Hope Kobalar, Psychology. Erica Lee Pru, International Relations. Amanda L. Lancia, Psychology. Alyssa Rose Rapetto, Psychology. Natanya Erica Labash, Psychology. Matthew Allen Rieger, Psychology. Samantha Lynn Lavelle, Psychology. Lucy Pasillo Schenk, Psychology. Isa K. Labu, Psychology. Alicia Nicole Shickley, Marine Biology. Eva Antonio Master Stefano, Biology. Alexis Brooks Severino, Biology. Chloe Angelina Zutente, Psychology. Galen Trance, Political Science. Camilla F. Lupi, Psychology. Sarah Elizabeth Slawick, Biology. Emma L. Magadan, Psychology. Emily Curry Sorrentino, Psychology. Paul Gabriel Manfredi, Political Science. Penda So, Psychology. Maxine G. Mangs Hernandez, Environmental Science. Victoria Savannah Stevenson, Marine Biology. Jenna I. Markland, Psychology. Lucy Adele Stonich, Psychology. Michael Robert McBreen, Biology. Madison N. Sullivan, Anthropology and Sociology. Thomas John Matthews, Political Science, Economics. Anna Marie Wather, Public Health. Gavin Eugene Maylock, Environmental Science. Catherine E. Wegener, Biology. Antone J. McCoden, Anthropology plus Sociology. Charles J. Weinacht, Environmental Science. Morgan Lynn Messier, Psychology. Mary Ange Hope Worfman, Anthropology and Sociology. Aaron S. Monahan, Psychology. Casey Marie Adams, Psychology. Caitlin A. Montalbano, Psychology. Natalie Renee Gambrell, Biochemistry. Kaylin Marie Mostafa, International Relations, Communication and Media Studies. Casey Robin George, Biology. Shane E. Nowak, Marine Biology. Emily Rose Goyette, Mathematics. Emily Rose Alton, Psychology. Shane Samuel Green, Environmental Science. Jamie Michelle Craig, Psychology. Megan Elizabeth Hackey, Biochemistry. Courtney Elizabeth Fish, Psychology. Elizabeth Ann Eyre, Marine Biology. Robin Mary Hill, Psychology. Kassarian M. Jackson, Biology. <laughs> Elizabeth Faye Lawrence Price, Psychology. Alexandra Scott Johnston, Biology. Derek Joseph Lavasco, Political Science. Jennifer Brian Joubert, Biology. Kendall M. Richardson, Marine Biology. 
Kimberly Victoria Cardis, Environmental Science. Danielle Marie Ternulo, Psychology. Maxwell J. Kramer, Marine Biology. Grace Noel Algeo, Biology. Danielle Rose Lavoie, Marine Biology. Michaela Barnwell, Marine Biology. Haley Ryan O'Brien Ledbetter, Marine Biology. Brooks Alden Barrett, Marine Biology. Corey Ryan Latender, Biology. Kylie May Bollier, Marine Biology. Benjamin Edward Lavelle, Marine Biology. Alicia Nalt Bouvet, Marine Biology. Patrick J. Rogers, Biology. Jessica Francis Brown, Marine Biology. Kelsey E. Letson, Biochemistry. Alyssa E. Bush, Biology Chemistry. Simon Smith Luden, Biology. Paige Mary Byrne, Biology. Jacqueline Michelle Lyons, Mathematics. Christian Lanes Chase, Marine Biology Management. Brendan A. McCormick, Marine Biology. Kang Ji Chen, Biology Applied Mathematics. Kevin Thomas McManus, Biology. Miranda L. Collard, Biology. Garrett J. McNeil, Biology. Mackenzie Elizabeth Cook, Biology. Kendall Faith Misadja, Biology. How you doing? Holly Janine Eberlin, Marine Biology Chemistry. Grant William Monast, Biology. Brittany Ann English, Marine Biology. Heen Dean No, Biology. Lauren Elizabeth Fletcher, Applied Mathematics. Gabriella Lee Nicoletta, Marine Biology. Ryan Michael Fontaine, Biology Chemistry. Gianna Victoria Scalisi, Marine Biology. Brittany Irene Fulgioni, Biology Foreign Language. Aaliyah Danes Lewis, Biology. <laughs> Stephanie E. Hills, Biology. Mackenzie Ann Weber, Biology. Michaela M. Vallis, Marine Biology. Jennifer Lauren Tackett, Marine Biology. Connor Andrew Sweet, Biology. Mary Elizabeth Stone Murphy, Biology. Olivia Curtis Smith, Biology. Joanna Scora, Biology. Rachel Lynn Shawalby, Biology. Hey, nice one. Kelly Hunter Scammon, Marine Biology. Andre Safonchik, Mathematics. <laughs> Annalise Catherine Roy, Marine Biology. How you doing? Craig Raymond Rockwell, Marine Biology. Chantel Lee Richards, Marine Biology. Gerald T. Prisim, Biology. Nicole Alana Portues, Marine Biology. Marissa Francis Papietro, Marine Biology. Heather A. Orlowski, Biology. Daniela Ann O'Regan, Biology. Rachel Ann Nilsson, Biology. Hannah Marion Nolte, Marine Biology. Next is the Feinstein School of Humanities, Arts, and Education. Will Dean Jeffrey Merriweather and Assistant Dean Denise Boulay Please come forward to present the Feinstein School of Humanities, Arts, and Education degree candidates. Will the Feinstein School of Humanities, Arts, and Education degree candidates please rise? 
President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Tori and Tony Davis, individualized major in science communication. Caitlin Garcia, English education secondary. Colin Leet Clefane, theater. Cheyenne Abrick, public relations. Miranda Blair Coker, Journalism. Julia A. Ackerman, Public Relations. Ruby Johanna Cortez, American Studies. Kerry F. Allen, Elementary, elementary Education. Jamie Lee Costa, Journalism, Foreign Language, Modern Concentration. Julia C. Agnostico, Elementary Education. Haley L. Del Greco, Educational Studies. Rebecca Jennifer Anderson, Graphic Designs Communication. Lauren Julia DeCenso, Journalism. Dan Danielle K. Aquilo, Educational Studies. Gabriella Maria Denovli, Public Relations. Caroline Marie Arujo, Educational Studies. Emily Elizabeth Dittmar, English Literature. Tigrim John Aventasi, Communications and Media Studies. Kelly A. Donahue, Graphic Design Communications. Nicholas Peter Barbera, Graphic Designs Communication. Gabrielle Jean Doherty, Public Ma Relations. McKenna Ann Barrett, Elementary Education. Sean Xavier D'Souza, Foreign Language, Modern Concentration. Alexis Lorraine Lovis, Public Relations. Catherine Elizabeth Dumour, Public Relations. Andrew Charles Benton, History Secondary Education. Haley Brooke Durno, Public Relations. Rachel Mary Bonatti, Journalism. Nathan Edward Egan, Elementary Education. Ryan Ellis Bonacombe, English Literature. Alexandra Jane End, Public Relations. Sydney Eligious. Elizabeth Borges, Elementary Education. Tyler James Estramera, Graphic Design, Communications. Sarah Ann Boswell, Communications and Media Studies. Casey S. Farrell, Media, Communication. Megan Catherine Boswell, Public Relations. Lindsay Elish Farash, Communication and Media Studies. Stephanie Lisa Barnamenti, Elementary Education. Lauren Julia Ferreira, English, Brooke, Secondary Education. Brooke Elizabeth Brenton, Education Studies. Brian John Fisher, History. Jasmine Elizabeth Bruyad, Public Relations. Nicole E. Jambacorda, History. Molly Hanny, Hanna Buckley, History. Jacob W. Ganser, History. Emily Ruth Bonanno, ed Elementary Education. Julia Marie Gentilo, Communication and Media Studies, Graphic Design, Communications. Sarah Christina Cappadogli, English Education Secondary. Ryan Elizabeth Garrity, Educational Studies. 
Crystal J. Right, Cotton, Graphic Designs Communication. David M. Kirby, History. Catherine B. Carpenter, Graphic Designs Communication. Maggie Elizabeth Nees, Elementary Education. Allison Ann Chalala, Graphic Design Communication. Caitlin Jane Knox, Communication and Media Studies. Stephanie Lee Chang, Graphic Design Communications. Leah Ariel Kogan, Media Communication. Gillian Simone Gleason, Media Communications. Jenna M. Kominsky, Public Relations. Haley Elizabeth Goodrich, Elementary Education. Isabella Rose Komorowski, Visual Arts Studies. Rachel E. Gordon, Public Relations. Catherine Julia Lamoli, History Secondary Education. Emma Catherine Golding, Pu Public Relations. Jacqueline E. Lamoro, Graphic Design Communications. Amanda Rose Green, Elementary Education. Michaela T. Linakis, Public Relations. Brandon Clark Greeno, Graphic Designs, Public Relations. Connor Martin Linsky, Journalism. Madeline Virginia Gorell, Educational Studies. Megan Elizabeth Livingston, Elementary Education. Thomas F. Jarrett, Communications and Media Studies. Elizabeth Ann Logan, Public Relations. Alani Haggy, Communications, Media Studies. Megan Kelly Handy, Educational Studies. Jonna Caitlin Lorenko, Educational Studies. Brianna Lucindra Hardy, Graphic Designs, Communications. Maisie Lorenko Lang, Public Relations. Ashley Marie Hickey, Public Relations. Justin Thomas Macaluso, Educational Studies. Jamie Nicole Hapsman, Journalism. Abigail Rose McCallum, Public Relations. Caitlin Nicole Hogan, Elementary Education. Madison M. Maines, Elementary Education. Courtney Emma Hopanek, Elementary Education. Megan L. Malone, Elementary Education. Alicia Sierra Hoxie, Elementary Education. Paul Severio Marchese, Educational Studies. Holly Cassie Huntoon, Journalism. Mario Emilio Moreno, Jr., History, Secondary Education. Megan Elizabeth Houston, Graphic Design, Communication. Carly Eileen Martin, Communication and Media Studies. Jalen Shai Jennings, Public Relations. Anthony David Martin, Theater. Catherine Denise Johnson, Educational Studies. Margaret Rawlings, English Secondary Education. Julia Alexis Junker, English Secondary Education. Erin Marie Saunders, Dance. Olivia Elizabeth Judas, Public Relations. Benjamin N. Chef, History. Claire Marie Calcutta, Public Relations, Graphic Designs, Communication. Max Daniel Schlichtmann, Individual Major in Cinema Studies and Production. Emily Ann Carmens, Journalism. Anna J. Schwab, Public Relations. Kayla Kanjari, Public Relations. Amanda Lynn Seda, Public Relations. Allison, Allison Taylor Maston, Elementary Education. Alexia Shabo, Public Relations. Caitlin P. Main, Elementary Education. Rosalie B. Shen, Global Communication. Taylor Kim Kimberly Massey, Public Education. Zoe Page Siegel, Public Relations. Kelsey Marin McDermott, Communications Media Studies. 
Marissa Lynn Sino, Media Communication. Julia Anna Rose Mitchlitty, Visual Arts Studies. Carly Danielle Sin Cavage, Theater. Tanner L. Moss, Visual Arts Studies. Amy Lynn Slotkovitz, Educational Studies. Alyssa Caitlin Mulhall, Graphic Designs Communication. Nicole Elizabeth Smith, Elementary Education. Catherine Elizabeth Nahatis, Communication Media Studies. Brittany Catherine Smith, Media Communication. Julia Catherine Newton, Elementary Education. Ab Abigail C. Souza, Educational Studies. Kelsey Christine Navi, Graphic Design Communication. Kyle Jesse Souza, Journalism. Emily Rita Olivia, Dance. Allison Day Stankowitz, Elementary Education. Michelle Lynn Polkowski, Elementary Education. Mariah Marissa Lee Sweet, Public Relations. Shelby Elizabeth Payanis, Journalist. Michael Robert Tiedemann, Communication and Media Studies. K Kelsey Ann Apaza, Graphic Designs Communication. Caitlin Daniel Caroline Tufts, Communication and Media Studies. Daniel Peter Pittori, History Secondary Education. Amy Marie Urso, Public Relations. Zafa Ciel, Hope McGraw, Public Relations. Lauren A. Utech, Journalism. Catherine Ann Preston, Graphic Designs Communication. Samantha N. Vivenzio, Graphic Design Communications. Rebecca Ann Pru, English Literature, Global Communication. Olivia Joy Fritz, Creative Writing. Victoria Lynn Poplowski, Elementary Education. Andrea S. Grant, Creative Writing. Olivia Clear, Reardon Elementary Education. Emma J. Ledoux, Creative Writing. Michael P. Raspoli, Communications Media Studies. Christine Lynn Peterson, Creative Writing. Damar R. Roser, Communi Media Communications. Victoria Ann Schoffler, Creative Writing. Amanda Lynn Roke, Elementary Education. Caitlin Louise Eckert, Math Education. Kristen J. Savella, Public Relations. Alicia K. Maffiolini, Math Secondary Education. Olivia Christi Catherine Sakara, Graphic Designs Communication. Amanda Elizabeth O'Brien, Math Secondary Education. Kirsten M. Vidal, Elementary Education. Jacqueline N. Bolcom, English Literature. Jamie May Bolpe, Graphic Designs Communication. Paula Wakiti, Graphic Designs Communication. Ian James Waldron, Media Communications. Joanna Kennedy Walsh, Media Communications. Jamie P. Wallach, Public Relations. Casey E. Welcome, Journalism. Courtney May White, Public Relations. Elizabeth K. Whitey, Public Relations. Marissa Rose Wrinkles, Elementary Education. Dorothy Virginia Wilkinson, English Literature. Lane Paradise Wilson, Dance. Samantha Erin Wozninski, Elementary Education. 
Andrew A. Weaker, Journalism. Henry Wilson Young, Theater. Jacqueline Marie Zerio, Media Communications. Dina Abdel Massau, Public Relations. Paige Riley Dunnigan. Kelly Ann Queen on Education Studies. Kristen M. Rispolzi, Communications Media Studies. Nicola Marie Alexander, Creative Writing. Elise Marie Bouchard, Creative Writing. Rachel Christine Calavero, Creative Writing, Graphic Design. Adam D'Angelo, Creative Writing. Oh, she's Stephen Paul Veron, Creative Writing. Now it's time for the Mario J. Gabelli School of Business. Will Susan, Dean Susan McTiernan and Associate Dean Edward Strong please come forward to present the Mario J. Gabelli School of Business degree candidates. Will the Mario J. Gabelli School of Business degree candidates please rise if you are able. President Farish, on behalf of the faculty, I certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island on Providence Plantations and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward to be recognized? Trevor J. Coleman, Finance. Christopher John Burke, Finance. Henry Calder Stames, Economics. Pelayo Rodriguez Busto, Finance. Zane J. Malik, Economics. Brendan Andreas Butler, Finance. Dalton George Agostini, Management. Alyssa E. Cabral, Accounting. Abdul Magid Al Sheikh. Ashley Hazel Caggiano, Marketing. Abdul Rahman L. Alanze, Senior, Finance. Clayton Jeffrey Caggiano, Finance. Danielle Margaret Albiani, Management. Mary Elizabeth Cahill, Management. Kimberly Jean Albiani, Marketing. Amanda J. Calderon, Marketing. Faisal Fahad Al Mukbel, Finance. Isla Ann Callahan, Management. Khal Khalid S. Al Namla, Finance. Michael John Cardell, Jr., Management. Abdullah Thaban Al Sayal, Finance. Thomas Francesco Caruso, Accounting. Suleiman Abdurrahman Al Sawaid, Accounting. Victoria M. Caruso, International Business. Abdulaziz Ibrahim Al Sutan, Finance. Madeline Elizabeth Caviola, Marketing. Brian Joseph Alvino, Accounting. Jonathan K. Chow, Marketing. Martin Mello Dueva Anderson, International Business. Gabriel Rose Charleo, Marketing. Christopher John Aquina, Finance. Luke Christopher Ciccinelli, Marketing. Damian Jerome Beatty, Finance. Chandler Marie Cobb, Marketing. Liam Michael Barnes, Management. Robert Anthony Coleman, Finance. Hisham Khalid Bartafi, Finance. Jonathan M. Connors, Finance. 
Colin Robert Bodwin, Management. Paul Edwin Karate Jr., Accounting. Jennifer Amy Bulio, Finance. Connor M. Cristiatelli, Management. Corey Thomas Bedrosian, Web Development. Hope Noel Coupol, Marketing. Stephen M. Bianco, Finance. Taylor Renee Denar, Management. Sarah Porter Bond, Finance. Seth L. Gesmundi, Accounting. Nikki Butsakudis, Accounting and Finance. Andrew Tozier Gilly, Web Development. Elizabeth Japonte, Accounting. Frederick Daniel Giordano, Finance. Morgan Rose De Silva, Accounting. Matthew Reno Givado, Finance. Peter Robert Davis, Finance. Brent Colin Goldman, Finance. Allison Anita DeClue, International Business. James Lee Goober, Accounting. Valeria Delaflor, Marketing. Jillian Rowe Goodrich, Management. Joshua Robert DiMartino, Marketing. Christy Taylor Gordon, Marketing. Luke J. Derdarian, Marketing. Stephen M. Gross, Marketing. Daniel Nicole Di Benedetto, Marketing. Lindsay Ray Guercio, Marketing. Corinne Marie De Tulio, Accounting. Shaheen J. Hagigi, Marketing. Ryan Patrick Donahue, Management. Jason David Hall, Marketing. Austin Taylor Duty, International Business. Cassandra Ann Hall, Marketing. Abigail M. Dowling, Marketing. Kristen L. Hanlon, Marketing. Alexis Elizabeth Downey, Marketing. Sarah Elizabeth Hayes, Finance. Charles J. Driscoll, Management. Allison Heafy, Marketing. Catherine Copeland Dunbar, Management. Cameron J. Heatley, Management. Michaela Sarah Dorso, Marketing. Kelsey R. Hagenstrom, Marketing. Tiffany Jean Eaton, Marketing. Jane Christine Hedrich, Marketing. Sean N. Eady, Management. Luke Dylan Herrett, Marketing. Lily Andrea England, Finance. <laughs> Keegan Michael Heston, International Business. Amanda Espinosa, Management. Corinne Teresa Haymark, Finance. Ryan Richard Evans, Finance. Tyler Ann Farrell, Marketing. Peter Michael Hilburn, Finance. Brian Cannon Fitzsimmons, Accounting. Edward Valentine Hill, Marketing. Sean Edward Gaffney, Management. Matthew H. Holman, Marketing. Tyler V. Garcia, Finance. Zach A. LaPearl, International Business. Emily Ann Jeffroy, Marketing. Connor Paul Lautenschlager, Finance. Luke Jarrett Gerwick, Management. Jillian Margaret Lewandowski, Marketing. Catherine Claire Hughes, Marketing. Melissa Page Lerosi, Finance. John Vincent Hussey, Marketing. Stephen Joseph Lanero, Finance. Dylan H. Jan, Finance. Acacia Hamlin Longley, Marketing. Sean E. Jansen, Management. Lindsay Lauren Lopez, Marketing. Janelle M. Jean, Management. Ethan La John Latufo, Marketing. Gavin Christopher Johnson, Accounting. Owen Daniel Love, Management. Tyler Jordan Jones, Management. Lauren Alicia Luciabello, Web Development. <laughs> Ryan Michael Cadlick, Web Development. Kevin Michael McDonald, Finance. <laughs> Erica T. Kamins, Accounting. Justin Anu McIntyre, Finance. Alini Caravusianis, Web Development. Kara Michelle McClellan, Marketing. Caroline Rose Keene, Accounting. 
Charles Hamilton Nader, Finance. Brian William Kelly, Management. Antonella Maffetone, Accounting. Elizabeth Joy Kensla, Accounting. Nicholas Edward Malone, Marketing. Tyler Glenn Killian, Marketing. Nathan Grant Mandel, Finance. Kristen Lee Kinchla, Marketing. Connor C. Marshall, International Business. Melissa Rose Martin, Accounting. George M. Kalidis, Finance. Brett C. Mattel, Management. Elizabeth Ann Koskowski, Accounting. Kevin John McAndrews, Accounting. Tyler McGill Kuchenbecker, Marketing. Sarah Catherine McDade, Economics. Marisa Renee Corey, Finance. Brendan James McKiernan, International Business. Harris Nicole Kuzoyan, Finance. Alec M. Mendez, Management. Benjamin Lantikin Lagman, Management. Gary Robert Paolucci, Marketing. Yi Ju Lai, International Business. Alexa F. Paradiso, Marketing. Michael Lee Lane, Finance. Randolph James Parent, Marketing. Emily Ann Lane, International Business. Michaela A. Pasco, Management. Kylie Elizabeth Mendoza, International Business. Angela Pasquarello, Accounting. Devin Marie Milligan, Marketing. Michael Patrick Paulson, Economics. Edmund J. Mitchell III, Accounting. Jordan Peabody. Maria Isabella Cantilla Montilla, International Business. Nicole Lynn Pelletier, Accounting. Savannah Yvette Moreno, Marketing. Ashley Marie Perry, Accounting. Zachary J. Morin, Finance. Zachary T. Pinto, Management. Stephen C. G. Morse, Management. Aria E. Procaccini, Mark Accounting. Charles Andrew Moyer, Jr., Finance. Alexander Joseph Puzon, Economics. Matthew Brian Mulrain, Marketing. Norgan Nicole Quagliaroli, Marketing. Jessica Rolene Murphy, Management. Justin J. Reynolds, Accounting. Nicholas Paul Nelson, Management. Morgan Lee Rich, Accounting. Colin James O'Brien, Management. John Lawrence Rigert, Marketing. Connor M. O'Brien, Management. Rebecca Lynn Ritchie, Management. John Edward O'Byrne, Management. Megan E. Roach, Marketing. Rachel Ruth O'Hara, Accounting. Joffrey Xavier Rodriguez, Carolyn L. O'Hara, Marketing. Michael Gerald Romano, Marketing. Edward Ryan O'Hare, Web Development. Grant Rosenberg, Accounting. Haley Kathleen O'Neill, Management. Joshua B. Rosenberg, Marketing. Leah W. Osborne, Marketing. Jenna Carolyn, Marketing. David C. Otero, Finance. Nayara G. Rufino, International Business. Julia Elizabeth Pilardi, Marketing. Joseph Carl Russo, Marketing. Blakesley Page Palmer, Management. Laura Elizabeth Suberg, Management. Nicole A. Palumbo, Marketing. Sean Thomas Sweeney, Finance. Michael James Pallotta, Management. Taylor W. Zemblinski, Marketing. Jonathan M. Panarelli, Management. Gavin M. A. Thill, Marketing. Tess Carolyn Rutkowski, Marketing. Thomas J. Turon, Market, uh, Finance. Right. Austin P. Ryan, Finance. Joshua Benjamin Unkrich, Management. Rosalvin St. John, Accounting. Oscar A. Valiente, Marketing. 
Christina Renee Salifia, Accounting. Aaron M. Vieira, Finance. Arnoldine Marcus Saldana Soriano, Management. Dustin Lawrence Wade, Accounting. Jada Bell Sanzaro, Management. Jan Yu Wang, Management. Christopher Joseph Saparito, Finance. Yu Hong Wang, Marketing. Jordan Dean Edward Saunders, Marketing. Griffin T. Williams, Marketing. Alexander James Scallion, Finance. Rachel E. Weiser, Accounting. Hannah R. Schmidt, Accounting. Nujud Mohammed Al Saleh, Finance. Michael Joseph Senate, International Business. Domingo Bermudez. Nicholas J. Serra, Marketing. Paige Jonna Concetto Ciardulo, Marketing. Samuel G. Sherwood, Finance. Francis X. Dupuy, Finance. Nathan Edward Silva, Management. Kelly Margaret Fitzsimmons, Management. Volney O. Sinclair, Management. Megan Emily Green, Management. Bo Allen Schoberg, Economics. Mary Catherine Rose Slattery, Accounting. James B. Smith, Management. Shannon Claire Smith, International Business. Megan A. Smith, Marketing. Christopher M. Soldo, Management. Brett Steven Sparaco, Marketing. Amanda Elizabeth Stalker, Marketing. Sarah Elizabeth Strickland, Accounting. George S. Sullivan, Marketing. Matthew Edward Sutton, Marketing. Congratulations to the Gabelli School of Business Class of 2018. We're getting very close to the end, but hang on, a couple more things. It's now my pleasure to ask Frank Erie Ranieri Jr., member of the class of 1999, to the lectern to welcome the class of 2018 into the Alumni Association. Congratulations, class of 2018. And don't worry, we are almost done. Good morning, President Farage, fellow trustees, distinguished honorees, families, friends of Royal Williams University, and of course, the great class of 2018. Today is such a memorable day, and I would like to begin saying how grateful I am for this opportunity. I feel very honored to share this important time with all of you, especially because a few years ago, and only a few, I was sitting right where you are now. And I remember that day as one of the most exciting days of my life. Not only you are closing an important academic chapter, but also today you are given a book filled with blank pages. And it also, it's up to you to write an amazing story there, your life. And your life should always feel like a bestseller for you. Going forward, you should trust yourself trust your potential, and trust the skills you have learned and developed during your time here. From now on, your success will depend on you and your ability and willingness to put those skills to practice. But remember, success in life is not only your professional, business, or family achievements. Success is much more simple. It is creating a life that you love, feeling passionate about what you do, surrounding yourself with people you care for, and contributing even in small ways to making this world a better place. Success is not a destination, but rather your whole life journey. 
It is being able to fight for your goals, stand for your belief, and always pursue your dreams. Be yourself and be true to yourself. Roger Williams is welcoming a new class to the alumni community. And just as you will always be part of Roger Williams, Roger Williams will be always part of you. You will carry a part of it wherever you go. The friends you made here, the mentoring you receive, the academic knowledge, and the life skills. I would like to encourage you to, give it, to get involved with Roger Williams Alumni Association. Maintain these connections and the friendship you have made throughout the years. These are relationships that are based in the fundamentals of genuine friendships, common interests, similar beliefs, mutual respect, and affection. As time goes by and you grow older, you will notice that, the building, that building these friendships are harder and uncommon. You will learn to appreciate them more with the time because they were formed with no agendas. From personal experience, I can say without a doubt that Roger Williams was and continues to be for me much more than a university. During my years here, it felt like a family. It gave me a sense of community, of diversity. It reinforced my family values and made me feel safe and a part of something greater. Time has passed and I still preserve my very valuable friendships. I have also been able to maintain my connection to Roger Williams by partnering with faculties here to develop programs in marine biology and ecological preservation in my hometown, Punta Cana. Throughout your life skill, you think about how you can stay connected to Roger Williams. The Alumni Association is a great way of keeping in touch, a magnificent support system from which alumni and the school can both benefit. And the good news is that just by graduating today, you're already part of the Alumni Association. Graduation day is today, and the rest of your life is around the corner. Now, let's turn those tassels and embrace the challenge. Congratulations, and welcome to our own community. I would now like to invite the president of the class of 2018, Bo Schoberg, to join us on stage to lead the turning of the tassel. And here he comes. Thank you, President Farish. Uh, greetings, class of 2018. It's the last greetings of the day, I promise. Uh, I am honored to lead you today in the tassel turn. The turning of the tassel is a symbol of our graduation. So as we turn our tassels, let's take a moment to look back on all of the personal and academic achievements that have brought us here to this day. Let's also take a moment to think back on the friends, the family, the faculty, staff, whom we shared these past four years. The class of 2018, please rise. As a symbol of the completion of our respective degrees, may I please ask you in joining me from turning your tassel from right to left. May, may I now ask the now graduates to turn and face your family and friends to accept their congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2018. Here we go, Hawks. So give me two minutes. Just sit down for one second here. I know, no, we're, we're very close. I just want to add my congratulations to the class of 2018. You've heard this before, but I, I think it's worth saying. Today marks the end of one chapter of your lives, but it marks the beginning of another. And you enter this next chapter as well-educated women and men. Know that we who have gathered with you today, in your honor, have high expectations. We expect you to use your energy, knowledge, and talents to advance others, as well as yourselves, 
to model our core value of service. We expect you to give back to your families, your neighborhoods, and your alma mater through your chosen professions, your future work, and your lifelong learning. Know also that we wish each of you fulfilling and meaningful lives as you make your mark on this world. And allow me to take this opportunity to invite all of you who are here, parents and friends and family, to join our graduates, faculty, and staff for refreshments following the end of the ceremony. And a complete list of the individual school receptions is in your commencement program. Today is Armed Forces Day. And I, we pay tribute to the men and women who serve in the United States in all of the armed forces. And I would ask that all of our graduates, their family members, and guests who are members of the armed forces or retired, please stand so we may show our appreciation. Thank you. In this spirit, we invite graduates and guests to join our ROTC program for the, the Lieutenant Joseph Fortin Class of 2008 Memorial Scholarship Ceremony. The ceremony will begin at 1.30 in the Alumni Admissions Building and is open to all. On behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises. Please stand and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional including our graduates, have exited the tent. Congratulations, class of 2018.